Hello Year One, I cannot believe the time has come for our final story time video. I hope you've enjoyed them as much as I have. Today's one is called A Duck So Small and it is by A.H. Benjamin and Elizabeth Holstein. Duffel was a very small duck and because of his size, all the other ducks laughed at him. A duck so small can do nothing at all, they jeered. I may be small, thought Duffel sadly, but there must be something I can do. He wondered what it would be. Duffel looked around and noticed Kingfisher perching on a reed. He was just about to say hello when Kingfisher suddenly took off and dived straight as an arrow into the water. Kingfisher is small, thought Duffel, but see how well he dives. Perhaps I could do that too. Look what I can do, Duffel called out to the other ducks. He flew high into the air and came down again like a drop stone. Splash! Duffel hit the water so hard that he nearly bounced off of it. Ha ha ha, what did we say, cried the other ducks. A duck so small can do nothing at all. Poor Duffel felt very foolish. He climbed out onto the riverbank, wondering what to do next. Duffel saw Heron standing perfectly still on one leg in the shallow water. What good balance she has, thought Duffel. Perhaps I could do that too. Look what I can do, Duffel called as he stood on one leg with his wings spread out. He wobbled this way and that way and landed flat on his beak. Thud. Ha ha ha, what did we say, laughed the other ducks. A duck so small can do nothing at all. Duffel crept off into the shade of a tree so that the other ducks wouldn't notice his blushes. Tap, tap, tap went a sound above his head. Looking up, Duffel saw a woodpecker making a hole in the trunk. What a strong beak he has, thought the little duck. Perhaps I could bore a hole too. Look what I can do, Duffel called out to the other ducks. He flew up into the tree and perched on a thick branch. Peck, 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 he went at the wood. Oops, he cried as he lost his balance. Duffel toppled from the branch and... Bump! He fell to the ground. Ha ha ha! What did we say? Cackled all the other ducks. A duck so small can do nothing at all. All the ducks were paddling and splashing in the river, but poor Duffel decided to hide in the rushes until they left. That way he wouldn't have to listen to their sniggering. I'm good at nothing, he thought. I'm just a small, useless duck and a tear rolled down his beak. Oh, poor Duffel. For a long time, Duffel could still hear those ducks quacking with laughter. It seemed as though they would never leave. I'll just stay here a bit longer till they get tired of it, he thought. But as he listened, he realised something. The ducks weren't laughing at him. They were quacking in alarm. Duffel paddled over to see what all the fuss was about. It seemed that a duckling had got stuck in a tiny hole in the riverbank. There he is, can you see he's stuck? Oh, please get him out, begged the duckling's mother. We will, said the other ducks, but it was no good. They were just too big to squeeze into the hole. Oh no. All except for Duffel. Let me try, he said. And because he was so small, he was able to reach right in. So there he's managed to get into the hole to reach the duckling. Whereas all the other ducks, they couldn't reach in there, could they? And it didn't take him long to rescue the trapped duckling. Good old Duffel, cried one duck. None of us could have done that, said another. A duck so small can be useful after all, quacked a third. Oh, it was nothing, blushed Duffel. And though he was only a little duck, he felt bigger and stronger than them all. Oh, wasn't that a lovely book? 
just showing that it doesn't matter who you are, you can always help and have a special talent. I hope you enjoyed this story. Bye for now, Yuan.